The gun battle continued long after Al Shabaab fighters launched their multi pronged attack. A car bomb, a suicide bomb blast, and then a stream of armed men. The target, Somalia's parliament building. I was wounded because I was inside the parliament building. I'm lucky to have survived. Parliament was sitting at the time of the attack, the building packed with politicians. While the members of parliament survived the assault, a soldier and at least some of the attackers were killed. Such attacks will not uh, deter our uh, government's efforts to continue rebuilding Somalia again. Such attacks may continue, but uh, the government is committed to fight against all terrorist groups and also protect the citizens. Al-Shabaab operates in Somalia and Kenya. It was behind the siege of the Westgate Mall in Nairobi last year. The group wants Islamic law in Somalia and foreign troops, including Kenyan forces, out. International forces pushed Al-Shabaab out of the capital Mogadishu in 2011, but the group has managed to attack targets in the city since. This assault will cause even more concern because the group was able to get through Parliament's defences and reach Somalia's top politicians. Miriam Nahond, Al Jazeera.